All right, man. What's up? So today's episode, video, whatever is, it's not take out. I'm gonna actually make something, and it's gonna be super easy. So like, any of you motherfuckers that don't know how to cook for shit can do this. And this is probably like some of the most popular food when you come to Hawaii. I mean, fucking. So basically, what I'm gonna show how to make is spicy ahi. AKA spicy tuna and also ahi poke. Um, I mean, I'm using ahi, which is um, maguro or also known as tuna. Um, you can use whatever fish you want, doesn't matter, like salmon would be a good substitute, hamachi. Or if you're a vegan, you can use fucking watermelon or beets, which is, I don't know what you want to do with that though. But okay, first of all, real simple shit: cutting green onions. Okay, um, first of all, what I like to do is chop this shit off right here. All right, chop off the ends, right? Because you don't want you don't want the ends. You know what I mean? Because they're kind of like rotating and stuff like that. So you throw that away. Um, for some of you thinking like, what the fuck? Why am I showing you how to cut green onions? I mean, fucking, there, there's a lot of motherfuckers that don't know how to cook for shit. And then, like, I mean, it's, it's fucking, like, it's dumb as fuck, like, how, how, how bad some people are. Like, it's, like, man, I had a friend try to cook a steak the other day, and I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's not that hard to cook a steak, but apparently it is for some people. So basically, green onions, you chop off the ends, right? Okay, so you have nice like this. So now, now here's the fucking, here's why I'm showing this, right? So you can use the knife to make it even. And this is kind of long. So you guys might think just chop, 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 right? Which is going to take you a long ass time to go all the way, right? But here's a trick. You cut it in half, right? And then you cut it in half again, right? And now you fucking chop, 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 right? Now you get the work done in a lot less time. And I bet some of you guys didn't know that too. I learned that shit when working at a restaurant, pay attention. And then at the end, you just freaking chop, chop. I remember, I mean, I, I didn't make spicy tuna a long time ago, but I learned how to make it because it's super easy. It's just basically sesame oil, mayonnaise, and sriracha. And then like for me, when I eat spicy tuna, I need green onions. And the one time I was gonna have like a barbecue and I, I bought everything and I told my friend, oh, just grab the green onions and wash it before you come down. This dumb fuck washes it in hot water. So when he bought the green onions, it was like, wilted and I was just like I mean right that's another, so that, that's another idiot that could use this video on how to chop a green onion because he doesn't even know how to fucking wash a green onion so here you got the green onions right there right and I also like to use onions right so that's probably the two most ingredients popular ingredients when you, when you make poke is onion and green onion um for onion wise you can either use um the most common one is sweet onion or we call it um Maui onion over here, or or also like red onions too. But the one thing you want to do with red onions, I mean not any onion onions, but when you chop, for me, whenever I eat poke and I'm chopping on onions, like I try to cut it as thin as possible, as thinly as possible. Because you are eating it raw, and like you don't want too much of that, you don't want too much of that like that raw onion bite, you know? So like, when I do chop my onions, bro, for poke, so when I do chop my onions for poke, I do like to do it real thin. It just makes it easier to eat. Okay, so that's the main two ingredients that I add, vegetables or non-fish components that I add whenever I make poke at home, because it's cheap.
and easy to find. Um, you can add other stuff like jalapenos. Um, a lot of people like to add like little fish eggs and stuff like that. Um, you can do whatever you want, man. But I'll be back. All right, now here you got some fish. Put up ahi poke. That looks pretty nice right there, nice and red. It says from the auction, hopefully locally caught. Look at that. Okay, so you wanna cut it into little cubes. Um, the, the, the one thing I noticed when I, when, I, when I first tried to make poke a couple of times, like you wanna cut the cubes a little bit smaller than, than you think, because I think when it absorbs like, like the sauce and stuff, it gets bigger. And like, I don't know, like I don't like eating big ass chunks of poke. I think when it's smaller, like it, it gets more flavor around and stuff like that. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be cutting the fish, like against the grain or with the grain or if that even matters, but shit, don't, I don't think that matters. See, they're the size of a smaller, a little smaller than a quarter. Okay, this is about a half pound. So the main ingredients in poke are these three right here. Sesame oil, doesn't matter whichever, just get any, any sesame oil. You can get them in the Asian section or go to your Asian supermarket. Soy sauce. I like to use this brand, Kikomen. It's, it's kind of stronger. Um, we have this, like, like you want to, I think you want to use a stronger tasty soy sauce, but honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. I got the, the less sodium as well too, but that doesn't really matter. It's just, I don't know, I just got it. And then we call it Hawaiian salt. Or you can't find Hawaiian salt, any rock salt would do. All right, this, this is pretty much in every poke, is this right here. So those are pretty much the main ingredients in the poke. Um, a lot of restaurants, I mean, I mean, when you go to poke shops, the one reason why like a lot of poke tastes really good is because they add a lot of sugar in it. And like, when I eat poke, stuff like that, like I, I kind of want it to be like a healthy meal. So, so I don't really add, I don't like to add sugar to mine, but if you ever make this and you're like, oh, it doesn't taste that good, it's because you don't put sugar in it. I mean, if you want, but like, I went to this one place I used to go all the time buy poke and like super popular and super good. And when, when I saw them making it, they used almost like one part soy sauce, I'll show you, and one part sugar. Like that shit was crazy how much sugar they added into that shit. And after I saw that, like I didn't go back there because I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to get that much sugar in me, you know, I'm trying to eat something healthy and stuff. So, so you add your green onions, you add your onions. Yeah, you your sesame oil, um, how much to put. If you never cooked before, you know how you learn how to cook? You keep on cooking trial and error. So, I mean, I never, I don't measure my shit, so just, do like a drizzle, and if you need more, just add accordingly, you know? Sorry, man, I don't, I don't measure, I don't measure when I cook. Soy sauce, same thing. And then, pitch of salt, right there, should be good. The soy sauce is salty as well too, right? And then I'm gonna add a jalapeno in there too, just to add some spice to it. All right, look at that right there. Mix it up. Look at that right there. Look how easy that was. 
and then put that in, and then if you put it in the fridge, I put it like to put it in the fridge or the freezer for like five, ten minutes, whatever, like that. It lets all like the sauces and everything soak in better. So I gotta make a spicy tuna, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so with spicy tuna, um, I'm not sure if you noticed me with a restaurant. Usually it looks kind of mashed up. Um, here's here's one thing that you might not know that a lot of restaurants, a lot of sushi places, when you order spicy tuna, they pretty much give you like the, not give you, but they, they, they can actually order like a, a real inexpensive cut. And not even cut, but they just get it mashed up. There's like all the shitty parts of the fish and it's like way cheaper and like you're not gonna know it's shitty because it has mayonnaise sesame oil sriracha and all that shit and it's all mashed up already so you don't know like how the fish looks or whatnot but so yeah so a lot of times when you do buy spicy tuna you're getting like a lot cheaper the fish is a lot it's a lot cheaper quality fish but then so what they do is um what i learned at the restaurant i work at so we, the spicy tuna is mashed up right i mean it looks mashed up so if you, instead of spending your time trying to like dice that shit up, what you do is you just grab a spoon and then you just scrape it like that. If you want to just chop it up, dice it up, whatever, you can do that too. All right. All right, so now I got my tuna kind of mashed up. Same thing again. Add in the onions. Add in green onions. When I eat spicy tuna, I like to add a lot of green onions and onions. And then, of course, sriracha. Again, everything I just eyeball, I just do whatever it is, man. Trial and error, figure it out. Add less and then just keep adding more if you need more flavor. Sesame oil. And then I gotta grab the mayonnaise, be right back. I think a lot of places don't even add onions. They don't even add like regular onions. They may add green onions and they like to add like the little fish eggs. I don't care for the little fish eggs, so I didn't add it in. But look at that. Damn. Spicy tuna. Look at that shit. Yo, so easy, man. It's just crazy how easy it's this to make. All right, man, got my poke back. So here you can see, right? You can see the color of this fish, nice and red. So that's how you, so that's why when they do poke, they gotta use the good fish. Cause if that shit looks old and fucked up, like you're gonna know that that shit's fucked up. Or well, spicy tuna, because you got all that sriracha and mayonnaise and stuff. You know, that's why it's all the quality doesn't really matter. But I mean, even the cheap shit tastes good when you add sesame, oil and mayonnaise, you know? So that's a, that's just a little restaurant insider 411. And I got some, I mean, I, I, I don't I wanna make rice, so I just bought me like a, a steak plate from the supermarket. It's a pretty good deal, 12.50. And then it came in rice and vegetables, so I got that. 
So what I like to do is, also I got some seaweed, roasted seaweed, so you can make some hand rolls. You wanna get the one that's like not seasoned with salt and stuff like that, cause they're usually gonna end up like breaking and breaking when you try to roll it up and stuff. Look at this, easy ass spicy tuna hand rolls. And like fucking, dude, you pay fucking five bucks for a, a spicy tuna hand roll, you know? Hey, no. Okay. Some rice right there. Look at that, man. Man, not only am I teaching you how to make spicy tuna and poke, I'm teaching you how to make a hand roll too. That wasn't part of the agenda, but. So you should do it like about that much rice, not too much, because you want to be able to roll it up. Put a little bit on the side, not exactly in the middle. Actually, I don't really, I'm not exactly sure about the proper hand rolling technique, but I just, how I do it. Put some fish right there, bam. Roll that up. And you got yourself a spicy tuna hand roll. This is bomb. And you gotta make a poke bowl. Simple man. This is how you make a poke bowl, right? You get a bowl, you add some rice. This is like a public service announcement. Okay? You got some rice. And then you throw some poke on top. Right? A lot of places, you buy poke, you can even do like a half and half, whatever it is. All right? Boom. Two choice poke bowl. And you know what else? That's it. You motherfuckers in the mainland. You guys are fucking ruining the poke bowl by having like five, six, seven, eight extra fucking side dishes or vegetables or whatever the fuck added into the poke bowl. We don't do that shit in Hawaii. And you know what's more fucking dumb? Now we got places in Hawaii doing that shit too. But dude, that's just, you're just fucking wasting money and wasting time. And you're doing it wrong, man. Just the poke bowls right there. You get your rice and your poke. You don't need fucking edamame, fucking pickled radish, kimchi, and all that shit in the poke bowl, you know? If, if they want to buy on the side, whatever it is, but that's not how you make the poke bowl. Like, we don't do that shit. I mean, I see that shit in the mainland, and now I see people, places over here doing it. I'm like, fucking like, you guys are Like, fuck. See, I mean, I'm not supposed to say that. Okay, I mean... I see people doing that shit over here too. I'm just like, bro, that's not how we do it. You're doing extra work, unnecessary, and you're ruining the dish. Cause like, as much as I love eating kimchi, like kimchi doesn't go that good with this. Like, you know what I mean? Or edamame, fucking whatever other bullshit you guys have, you guys want to add in there. Like, 
Bro, rice and poke. You can have some ginger or some other shit, but like, yo, keep that shit simple and don't don't overdo it, man, because you're making it worse than what it is. I wonder if that's what the Japanese are when, when they first saw the California room. I'm like, what the fuck? Avocado? But Japanese like avocado, so I don't know. I like seaweed though. I like seaweed though, so even the poke, I'll do like hand roll with the poke too. So that shit up. That shit. Steak is pretty good too. Hey, if you're on a budget, this place will be this place will be the place to eat if you're on a budget. I think the regular steak plate is like eight fifty or some shit, like eight dollars or nine dollars. Yeah, shit, man. Spicy to a handle. I think I put too much jalapenos in the pork, yeah. But also, you fucking poke places in the mainland, you some better quality fish, man. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? What's that place in Vegas? That shit was trash, man. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't, I didn't even finish it. Couldn't believe it. And the price is not even like fucking a lot cheaper too. So like, so like, if you want to do like a fancy ass homemade dinner, you do like a hand roll night, make some fucking spicy tuna, some spam, get about a fake imitation crab, comes in a package, you know, buy some of this, rip it in half, have some chopped up cucumbers and sprouts or whatever on the side, and you impress the other person, guarantee. Yeah, and also, corn. Like, some of you fucking poke buddies have corn too, like, I don't know, man. Y'all motherfuckers need to chill and, and don't try to one-up the originals, you know? Without actually one-upping them. You can't just add fucking corn and edamame and kimchi and radish and think you're, you're being better than the fucking, the, the OGs, you know? And also you guys add too much fucking sauce. But I guess in the main line, you guys are using like shady ass fish. So you gotta add like a bunch of sauce like this to kind of mask your shady ass fish. But yeah, I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do, but 
that, that, that that's why I, I think that's why everybody comes to Hawaii. Like they love the pokeballs over here because you get to actually enjoy the fish. Keep it pretty simple. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different varieties of poke, but we don't mask that shit with fucking shit load of sauces like you guys do. And then I'm getting full now. I'm gonna save this for another meal. Then I had enough protein for lunch. Hope you guys learned something today. Whether it's how to cut the green onion, how to make spicy tuna, and how to not fuck up the poke bowl. But hope you liked the video. If you did, Help a brother out, hit the like button, subscribe, whatever, man. Help, you know what I mean? Show some love. And thank you for your time and watching my video. All right, man. Shoots.